All right, well, they say that walk-in talks are great when you want to share news and information. Kind of see this fun stuff happening all over the YouTube world um, for a while now. And so the marketing department said to me, hey, Teach, you should absolutely start to do this. We need to share thought leadership and insight. The real risk here is not that we're not going to give you good insight or information, but that I'm going to trip while recording this, which would actually make it a lot more entertaining. Um, but, well, for those of you um, that have followed Otava or The Notice, my name is TJ Houseke. I'm fortunate in this season to be the chief executive officer uh, at a really incredible company. Really enjoy who I work with and what we do. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, but what's going on in the industry right now relative to the news around Broadcom and VMware is a little bit less fun. And certainly some of our friends, so channel partners and customers are experiencing uh, a lot of concerns. Um, so I want to take a few minutes to share some high level insights that relate to what really uh, you kind of want to think about as we go forward with uh, Broadcom and the next chapter you know, that is uh, VMware. So first for enterprise customers, a lot of people have reached out and said, man, we're seeing potential price hikes, right? They haven't confirmed and received new pricing yet. Some have already received their pricing updates and they're very concerned, but they're saying like, what, what's our strategy? What's the first step? And a lot of what I've been sharing with folks right now is license portability is still the big question. Uh, some of it's being detailed, but not a lot of that has been released yet. So what that means is, Things to be on the lookout for is license portability will answer a lot of questions as to for sunk costs that have been placed into multi-year agreements in your former perpetual structures. Can we now convert those, which the conversation is that we assume so, that you'll be able to migrate those workloads into a VMware Cloud Foundation environment. Um, and as such, you could offset potentially some of the go forward costs. Certainly the same benefits for cloud exists by moving those workloads from perpetual or on-premise into cloud architectures. Um, you're able to reduce the risk of capital, um, support costs dramatically shift because you're putting it at the resource level of that individual provider. Um, and then of course you get to skill up. And I think that's the other part that you wanna be thinking about is being forced to adopt the VMware Cloud Foundation isn't necessarily a negative thing, albeit if the prices are aligned properly because you get to participate in the newer cloud product and the technologies. But what some customers are seeing the big struggle with is they don't have the right skills to support that. And so that kind of comes with item number two. So the first one's license portability. That's still to be determined. Um, but once that question gets answered, I think that a lot of customers are gonna have some opportunity to really take advantage of putting that information, or sorry, putting those workloads into cloud um, and taking advantage uh, of better pricing. So um, the second one is the skill. Uh, we recognize that a big concern for customers says, hey, okay, I'm gonna be moving into you know VCF now. I can't uh, buy licenses unbundled. And so I'm taking new features that I might not otherwise be trained up ready to support. That's where I think a huge advantage is with a cloud partner, particularly in this season, is that uh, for companies like Otava, and there's many of us out there, um, we have an opportunity uh, to participate and support customers in that.